Hey everybody, this is lesson three of MicroMesh. Okay, so MicroMesh, it's wise to have small geometry because it's being duplicated on each of the uh, polygons you have in your your subtool, and that would be quite a bit right now. So if we uh, control D, control D, polyform off, polyform on, if we made this a MicroMesh, with 177,000 faces, that would take a while to render. You could do it, but I don't know. Probably not a good idea. So let's start off with a new scene. Then right click, uh, choose the top one, plane 3D. Okay, now go to initialize. And let's bring this back down to... Wow. That's, that's as basic as it, get, as it gets. So, um, let's move this up to 4, 4, so now we can start um, uh, sculpting our micro meshes, kind of like I've created in our, in my brush um, micro bin. I can certainly add to this from right here. So, let's choose any of the, oh, uh, let's make, now, uh, well, um, yeah, let's make this polymesh 3D. We can always come back to this and uh, fiddle with it later. But, okay. So, um, <clears throat> let's, let's see what brushes we can use. Uh, probably, let's, let's first select the top. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's select the very middle, and then invert it, and then pull it out some. Okay, there's that. And then let's move this back. And then let's Huh. That's nice. It's like a little button. Let's let's see what this looks like. Okay, so um, B. Let's first select the micro bin, then B. Create insert mesh and append. Uh, yes, skip. I don't care. Then press M, and we can see that that has been successfully added into our um, micro bin. Uh, brush or subtool. So now let's go to the Sphere 3D. Uh, yeah, let's use this one. It's a little better. Okay, now let's zoom in. Um, turn polyframe off. We can play with the colors a little bit and then let's... Oh, it's already open. Um, modify topology. Open that up. Micro bin. And then select the um, brush that we just created. Yes. Okay, so turn micro bin on. Mesh. So draw micro mesh. And as you can see, it's going to apply that to all of these little, little spheres. So let's zoom in and see what that looks like. BPR. Oh, that's totally wicked. Cool, it's like it's popping out of the... Oh, cool, I want to see that a little bit more. Okay, let's uh, go to Sphere 3D, make that a Plot Mesh 3D, and then uh, let's Dynamesh this down to as low as we can get it. Okay, right there. Now let's test it out again. I'm really excited. Now this is an actual, you know, um, working um, micro uh, mesh that we can use. It doesn't look, look totally crazy and stuff. So, micro mesh, select the sub tool we just had, and then BPR. We can click right here or press Shift R. Oh, that's totally cool! I really like that. That, <coughs> and this is just render time, so. It has no impact on how many polys you have. 
It can, but that, that'll be for um, another lesson. 744, that is not, I don't think that's possible with, this, with what we see here. Pretty cool. So you can have a really, really complicated scene that looks totally crazy like that. Lots of geometry everywhere. But in fact, it's just a bunch of um, uh, spheres and boxes, uh, no more than a thousand uh, polys. Nice. Okay, so if anybody liked this video and would want to see more, please subscribe, and thanks everybody.